welcome to my channel, B Swain's Shoebox Sundays. Today I have an unboxing for you of a box that I packed for Operation Christmas Child for a boy in the age range of 10 to 14. And I used a box that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I had gotten a gift card for Christmas and I still had a few dollars on it. So I splurged and I got this box and I do use these kind of photo storage decorative boxes once in a while. Not that often, but I do use them once in a while. If you, you use OCC Go boxes, you know that those boxes are very sturdy, great for packing. And the uh, design on those boxes is printed right on the cardboard. Well, these boxes are different. This is just, they're like chipboard and they're covered, it's like chipboard covered with paper. So the design isn't printed right on the chipboard. And so what happens is the edges tend to get a little tattered and torn, even more so than wrapping paper, I think. So sometimes I do add packaging tape around the edges. I have not done that yet, but the other day I was in Dollar Tree and I discovered the Scotch brand packaging tape. Maybe they have it all the time other than just the Jot brand or, you know, the Dollar Tree brand and I didn't realize it. But so I picked a one roll up because I'm, I'm not exactly sure um, how it compares to just purchasing more of a name brand at Walmart. I can't remember how much they are at Walmart. But anyway, I picked up one roll and so I'm probably gonna add a little bit of packaging tape around some of these edges. On the top of the box, I adhered an image of a race car. The title, this box doesn't really have a theme, but the t I titled the box To The Extreme and I was trying to think of things that I know 10 to 14 boys would love and I thought of, you know, fast cars, fast and furious. I thought of fierce things, uh, dinosaurs and sharks. I thought of extremely fun games, extreme sports. And so the title is to the extreme. Okay, so let me show you what's inside the box. I have yet to decorate the inside lid. I, it's already, patterned and it looks real nice but I think I'll get some light letters would look better on the, this dark background and add the phrase Jesus loves you. Okay right on top he's going to see his shirt and underwear and usually I try to put the wow item right on top but this is how it worked out for me. So he's got a pair of boxer briefs, fruit of the loom, pretty color light blue and the shirt I got on clearance at Target, but I know I got this for $2.40 on clearance. It has a surfer dude on the front. I went with this one because I loved the colors. And so this is a size, a boy size, extra large. The brand is all in motion. And when he picks those two items up, here's what he's going to see. Okay, one of the extreme sports or one of the sports in the X Games is motocross, right? So I have some shaped crayons. They're shaped like motorcycles. Even a 10 to 14 year old boy, I think, would have some fun coloring with these. So I took them out of the original packaging, but I cut out the piece of the packaging that said crayons and I put them in this baggie. Okay, in this is a zipped pouch that came with a toothbrush and used this for his pencil pouch. Those are his pens and pencils in his pencil pouch. He has other school supplies elsewhere in the box. Oh, he has a 24 count Crazy Art colored pencils. He has, oh, roll of washi tape just for some fun some extra adhesive he has these fun figures to play with and these are ryan's world figures and maybe ryan's world is more geared towards the younger kid but i you know this box could go to a 10 year old 11 year old and i think that they'll still have fun even a 14 year old i mean i've heard stories that even the older boys love to play with toy figures so Ryan on his skateboard. Skateboarding is an extreme sport, right? 
Ryan on his snowboard. Snowboarding is another extreme sport. A surfer dude, Ryan figure, that says California on it, and he's got his shades on there. And then here is a race car driver. So these are all extreme sports, surfing, racing, snowboarding, skateboarding. Okay, so along with the Ryan skateboarder, I have included this skate finger uh, skateboard and accessory. It looks like a little ramp there from Dollar Tree. Just left it in the packaging so that they're, the two pieces are together. Okay, it's got a nice pair of scissors. Oh, this is, I wrapped the washi tape around the end of the scissors to keep them from poking other things in the box. This is a little pouch, a burlap pouch. Came with a set of two. It was an Easter clearance item and it came, it's just open at the top and then it came with the jute twine that you just tie around to close the pouch. And in here, I believe I have a little Lego set. Hopefully you can see them in there. It builds this little race car. I think boys absolutely love little building sets, Lego sets. I don't think it's actual Legos. It might have come from Walgreens. I took it out of the original packaging, so I really don't remember. But I put it in this little just, uh, pouch here. Another finger skateboard. This one has Spider-Man on the bottom. So he has a extreme kite here. This is a sky foil nylon frameless kite. It's pretty wide, but yet it fits nicely in this box. And there was extra room, of course, so I had to tuck in extra things. He has a little eraser. I believe this is an eraser. That is a motorcycle. He has, yep, here's, this came out of that pouch that I used as pe pencils to put his pencils in. This is the Hot Wheels little dental floss and timer, sand, little sand timer, a fidget spinner, a little Thai teeny beanie that is, yeah, Nook, Nook the Husky. So he has a little stuffy. The rest of the pieces are just his kite pieces in there. The handle and the kite and the string. So I think that this young man will absolutely love. Hopefully he lives in a place that has wind. I'm praying for that, that he'll be able to fly his kite. Blue stick that I put in a baggie another finger skateboard also has spider-man here is his toothbrush with a cap he has this is just a card a playing card and I added a sticker with a dinosaur it says offline on it I added a note inside in the photo oh I was gonna say I do not I've started not writing on the inside of my cards because I, then I think the young man or the child who gets the card can reuse it and give it to somebody else, like maybe a birthday card or they can write in it. So I just add the note, um, I print them out and just add those on a separate piece of paper and the family photo. And, oh, I have some instructions here to this game that I'm gonna show you in a bit here. And the instructions that came with the game were written in English and Spanish. And most of my boxes in the past have gone to African countries. I've had boxes go to Peru and Mexico in the past, but not for a while. Most, uh, the last two years, my boxes have gone to Benin in West Africa, and the official language in Benin is French. So I took those instructions and I used a translator app and I scanned the instructions and translated them into French. And so I also have instructions for his game in French. Okay, this is a little magnetic racing game. This was donated to me from a friend who has a couple of Hot Wheels, Fast and Furious Hot Wheels. I got these for a dollar at Walmart. And I will take these price stickers off. And he has this little Hot Wheels uh, 
build it surprise activity. I didn't open this, so I don't know how it works. But it says build it surprise activity. Okay, I guess this is the wow, or one of the wows. I think the kite and this, this sequence game are the two wow items in this box. So this is the game. It's a sequence travel game. And this is the box that I told you came with instructions in English and uh, Spanish. And so I'm going to add these French instructions in French. I'm going to leave it in the box because the box is really cool. But it, the pieces do come in this enclosed case. And I added some things. So this is the game board for sequence. It's, you just stick little pegs in these holes on the game board. But I added, okay, these were stickers that came like in some kind of free uh, mail. But I loved them because they have extreme sports on here like snowboarding, surfing, horseback riding, skiing, um, water skiing, mountain climbing, motocross, downhill skiing sailboating and then just some other stickers there's the california republic sticker some puppy smiling faces here's the instructions that came with the game and then i have added a in these little trays inside that came in the case with the game here's the cards that came with the game i added band-aids pencil cap erasers a school eraser a nail file, a nail clipper, two little mini mending kits, a couple of pencil sharpeners, and the pegs that came with the game. He has a pair of socks that have light year on them, a magic towel which has Mickey Mouse, a larger pencil sharpener, a dual sharpener. He's got a lip balm that has dinosaurs on it, and he has these these are like little cars and they actually move with wheels, but I think they are erasers. This one has skis, a ski rack on top, snow skis. And then this one has a kayak on top. And this one has, I'm not sure, but it it's just like, a, it has a, a carrier on top ruler a six inch wood ruler i ordered those in bulk from amazon a comb just a dark purple comb a notebook pen and gear yellow notebook this is where i got the idea for the title of my box to the extreme with the fast race car on there so i think even for an older boy this book is okay i think they will enjoy looking at all these pictures of these cars and reading about them. It, it describes the kind of cars on the pages. I included this giant poster. I took it out of the packaging. Even this slightly wider box, it wouldn't fit with the packaging. Wait, it's a giant poster. I'm not going to undo the whole thing. So he'll have, I think he'll have fun coloring that. Have very last item is a Wakanda Forever sticker activity book it includes pages to color stickers activities and that's more like an adult coloring book so that's why i included so many of the colored pencils i got a bunch of these on clearance at walmart this one i got some for a dollar some for a dollar 50 this one was a dollar so that is my box that is it that is what i have included in my box for a boy in the age range of 10 to 14 and after all of those disney princess boxes it was refreshing and fun to show you this box for a boy and i show my boxes here on youtube perhaps to give you some ideas um Maybe this um, gave you some inspiration or ideas of things to pack in a boy 10 to 14 box. I sure hope it did. If you saw something you liked, I hope you'll hit the like button. I hope you'll leave a comment and tell me what you liked. Tell me about what you're packing and 
if you haven't subscribed already, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. So thank you friends and bye for now.